beautiful people hope you're having an amazing time please take a second and tap on that subscribe button if you haven't my country kenya is on uh, a second lockdown after a surge in covid infections so most of the guys are just indoors a few guys going to work the guys uh, who are providing essential services so expect more and more of uh, nairobi vlogs i think in the next coming months because we are locked up for two months so today i just want to give you a tour of my neighborhood i live in the, the second largest estate in africa and the, the largest and best maintained state in uh, east and central africa okay it's a uh, it holds like four thousand houses in a uh, one gated community divided into courts we also have malls shopping centers within the estate so you really don't have to go out of the gate to get what you want you can find everything salons boutiques supermarkets hospitals like we are self-contained just within our estate you don't have to really get out to get the services or the goods you need so let's go for a tour so this is the main gate We have uh, two other gates, so there are three gates to access the estate. This is where we wash our hands and sanitize. So, security check at the gates before you proceed. The roads are clearly marked because the houses all look the same, so you you didn't get lost. Because the roads are marked they're named so you just need the road to know the road you're going to this is a mall so in this mall there are hospitals everything you need groceries those are stores. I hope you notice how clean it is, the trees, how many kiwada flowers and lawns are. And the security is just on another level. You can't just drive in, there's a security check and all cars belonging to residents have stickers so the security guards can easily pick out the visitors or strange cars There are signboards on all roads. So the guys dressed in green overalls are the gardeners maintaining the gardens, the trees and flowers here. So each court has a gate and security guards mm. so the motorbikes you see are uh, people bringing supplies for the grocery stores, supermarkets and uh, home deliveries uh, different 
for that. So, most houses are apartments and also a few machinettes. This is a shopping mall, another one, second one. So, I'm just gonna walk in, buy some stuff. So if you're like a new person in the estate, you're visiting, all you need to know is the road you're going to, the court number and the house number of the person you're going to see. So it's very easy to get to the house you're going to despite the houses being all the same. So guys, this is just all green, trees, Good roads, good drainage system. Well labeled. And children have uh, ample space to play, ride their bikes. These are play field where there is a pitch for every game you want to play it's at the farthest corner so I think I'll just do a video on that later so like you pick a street which is already named so I'm taking a, a road called Malaika Road look at the houses they're all the same so if you don't know your court number or the house number, block number, it gets tricky. So when you're giving somebody directions, just make sure you give them all the details. So I'm just entering a court. So the courts also have guards and each court has a gardeners. There is, uh, that's where we wash our hands when entering the court again. Then this is inside the court. Every house has an allocation for parking and also for visitors. So each block has eight houses. So every house has its own line also. And on the farthest end is the Usafi Center, that's where we keep garbage. So that's there's no littering here. Most cars are in the parking since guys are not going to work. Did I mention we also have schools inside here? So guys, that's about my estate. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment. And let me know what you think about this 
biggest state in East and Central Africa. And always welcome. Come back and watch and remember to subscribe. Bye-bye.